Hello and welcome to another furry tutorial. My name is Lurak and today we're actually gonna look at something that I think is one of the most tricky things when it comes to furry art. Especially if you come from normal human art into furry art. It's the muzzle. Because like usually humans have kind of flat faces, you know? Furries have like their whole muzzle going on, you know? And that's like one of the most tricky things if you're relatively new to art. Because the tricky thing is like getting the perspective right. If you would be drawing from exactly in front, it wouldn't be like too tricky maybe. Or like exactly from the side, you can get it right a lot easier. Um, really the tricky part is, at least in my opinion, the um, water view. If it's kind of like this from the side. For example, if you know this like wolf meme where it's like his muzzles like really going to the side. I often see that in like beginner's art. And my art was like that as well at the beginning. It is a tricky thing to get right, but that's what we try to fix in this video. There is a strategy to make it a little bit easier and that's what I'm gonna show you guys on this example. I drew a furry in three perspectives. Side view, quarter view and front view. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make drawing a muzzle a bit easier. So what you wanna do is break down those drawings into more simple to understand shapes. Everybody knows geometric shapes, circles, rectangles, it's all pretty easy. Um, so for the head, usually you always want to do a circle. Sometimes it's more of an ellipse or it can also be more of a square or rectangle. Depending on the character and like different stylized styles can have different shapes. But for now, we're gonna keep it simple. Usually it's just a circle for the, for the face or for the head it's a good starting point if you always if you watch me draw like any drawing usually i always start with a circle um to like ind indicate the size and position of the head um next on you can like add where he's looking for this example it would be like total side view like this he looks just to the right so like this and then for the ears it's usually easy it would just triangles but we won't we won't focus on that too much and for the muzzle you want to add a rectangle at least in this perspective i would usually if we're talking 3d shapes it would be like an orb for the head and then you want to add the um a cylinder to it um, we see that a lot more in this one again we add a orb for the perspective or like for the head um, and then we would add like an orb or like a cylinder shape to it. There we go. So that would be just the very basic shape of the muzzle. And that makes it a lot easier already. I'm gonna very quickly add that for the last one as well. So again, just a circle for the head. For this one, it would just be a plus that we have for the... Um, the direction because he's directly facing the camera and then the muzzle would just be front facing so you have just the top of the cylinder which would just be another circle again there we go all right um, i'm gonna real quickly just add the ears here as well just to make it more clear and if i now hide the tapes or the sketches of each of those you can already see it still gets the job done. You can see what it is. You can like tell what's it what's it supposed to be. Um, but yeah, it's a lot simpler to draw. Like this can be easily replicated by pretty much anyone, I would say. So this is like a really easy way to simplify things and understand things how they're generally in 3D space coming together to grasp how these work and then translate it into drawings later on. Um, knowing this technique, you can use it in multiple ways. The first one would be just learning and like really looking at art that already exists from your favorite artists or like, just like art that you Google and think that is like a really good reference and you want to know how it's done. Um, you can go ahead and do the same thing for that kind of art. Draw the basic circle, find out, ah, okay, here's the hat position. And then we go ahead and here is the muzzle coming out. Front. There we go. And then we have the ears right here. And yeah, 
And as you can see, um, we have the basic skeleton and or rather the perspective figured out. You can still tell that it's a furry, what way he's looking, and it's just really easily drawn. Either you just go ahead and use that kind of skeleton for your drawing and continue drawing your own furry over that with your own style, own kind of expression, own persona, whatever. Or you just use it for learning purposes, do that for a few drawings, figure out how the perspective actually works, and then just create your own one like this. Um, you can just like start with a simple circle like I always do. There you go, make it a bit more round. Um, then you wanna, for example, say he looks kind of in this direction. I'm gonna make this a bit more transparent to make it more visible. And then you can start adding like the basic cylinder shape to it. Go. And add the ears to that. If you want to be fancy, you can also add like the fluff like this. Make it like an easy triangle. Maybe a little bit of neck here as well with just another rectangle. And you already have like quite the furry going on. And from there you have like already a basic skeleton and have like a way of starting the drawing out. All right, there you have it. With this simple technique, it's gonna be a lot easier starting out on drawing muzzles because the perspective, as I said, can be a bit tricky. No matter if you just use this to like analyze some drawings and learn a bit, or if you use this to sketch. In any case, this is gonna help you a lot with the perspective on muzzles and make them look a lot more like this and less like this. I really hope I could help you out. If that's the case, boop that like button and also consider subscribing because there's a lot more tutorials to come. Other than that, in the next